Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're going to be discussing one of the best gatherers on the entire arc. In any arc. I mean, if, if it gathers it, it, this is like one of the best ones. The only thing it cannot gather are um, the heavier uh, minerals. The metal, the crystal, the obsidian, stuff like that. Other than that, it is the king gatherer. Now, the only thing that holds it back from being the supreme king gatherer is it has zero weight reduction. But these guys are so cool that you can actually take them up against bosses. Yeah, that's right. These guys are that wicked cool. Yeah, okay. So um, without further ado, let's start talking about the Therizinosaurus. Now, these guys right here, yeah, while they look really kooky, they look really weird, they actually, I mean, with those little fingers right there, it's just creepy. I mean, it's like straight out of Freddy Krueger, man. Yeah, that's right, Fred. That's what you're named after, too. All right, but yeah, um, these guys are kind of lovely name, named the uh, the Tickle Chicken because when they harvest some things, when they use their uh, soft uh, gathering or their light gathering, um, it looks like they're tickling things. So yeah, but anyway, we're going to talk about how to tame these guys, um, one of the best ways to tame these guys, and then also we're going to talk about what they can gather after they're done and then how to level them up. And then, also, we're going to be discussing just the little ins and outs, the kind of nooks and crannies of the Therizinosaurus. Yes, that's right, Fred. We're going to be discussing your nooks and crannies. Are you prepared? <laughs> because it's going to happen, dude. Yeah. Don't look at me like that, man. Right. <laughs> You're prepared to have your nooks and crannies? Uh, yeah. Okay, dude. All right. You might want to start grimacing now. All right, but yeah. So yeah, we're going to be uh, discussing that. And um, we're going to head over to a taming pen and uh, see if we can find ourselves a uh, Therizinosaurus. Because one of the best ways of actually taming these guys is a uh, taming pen. Now, these guys right here, um, they have like this weird thing about them. Um, at least they used to. I don't know if it's been patched. I would imagine it hasn't. But they don't like going into deep water when they're wild. So if you uh, can get on the opposite end of like a big lake somewhere where they're gonna have to swim to get to you you can just stay on the opposite end of that and then shoot them from the distance and they're not gonna want to go swim so once in a while they'll get super brave enough to do that but it takes them so long to be able to get to you that you can just easily run around to the other side by the time they get over to you yeah but these are the kind of guys that you do not want to face when you're say like on a saber tooth, a baryonyx, a uh, thylacolio, if you're out in the wild or a dire wolf, anything that's low to the ground when you're riding it. Because these guys right here, um, they will randomly use their bite attack. And when they use their bite attack, they can smack the rider on there, which damages your armor, it does uh, health damage to you, plus it also gives you torpor. Yeah, it, it's kind of creepy. You don't want to fight these guys with anything that's uh, that where you're going to get smacked off the back of it. And it, it can happen. It does happen. It will happen. Trust me. Um, if you're going to go up against some Therizinosaurus, just send your dinos up against it without you riding one. Or, you know, be on like a Rex or something like that. So where it's not going to be able to smack you. Because if it can smack you, it's going to smack you. And it's going to hurt a lot. Yeah, so just be careful when you're out in the wild and you see one of these guys. And also, remember, they are also one of the only herbivores in the um, on the map that will aggro against you. Yeah, they will. Um, they have a kind of a small aggro range. Uh, you kind of have to get up in their grill. But once you get up in their grill, they're going to rip you to shreds, especially if you're on foot. So I would recommend that just don't get up in their grill. Yeah, just don't get up in their face. Don't Just leave them alone. If you see a Therizinosaurus... Leave it alone. <laughs> Serious, because, uh, yeah, they're going to have a problem with you, and uh, chances are it's probably going to be painful for you. <laughs> All right. So, hey, without further ado, let's hop over to the Taming Pen. Let's see if we can find ourselves a Therizinosaurus. But with um, one last thing, when you're going out and about, you need to make sure, if you're going out Therizinosaurus taming, you need to make sure you either have kibble or crops. Yeah, you can tame these guys. Man, I would recommend against crops also. But you can tame these guys with measure berries. You can tame these guys with regular berries. And you can tame these guys with carrots and corn and stuff like that. But I would recommend not doing any of that. Get yourself some Megalosaurus kibble. Trust me, it's worth it. All right? So, yeah, once you have Megalosaurus kibble, you're good. 
Um, these guys are they're really easy to tame with uh, um, Megalosaurus kibble. Anything else, you're going to need a ton of narcotics. I'm not even sure this is going to be enough narcotics. Because their taming effectiveness, well, their taming bar moves super, super slow. Their taming effectiveness, believe it or not, they don't lose much taming effectiveness from being tamed with crops. Unlike a lot of different other dinos. But they take for ever and a day and this is actually after the initial patch when they first came out when they have the amount of time that these guys were coming out i did a video right when these guys came out on how to tame one and oh my god it it was it's it took twice as long back then and it was just insane yeah <laughs> it was bad but yeah now they have it and then now um i would recommend completely 100 percent if you have megalosaurus um kibble use that if you have to um, you can use crops, you can use measure berries, say if you're like early on in the game and uh, you just really, really want a Therizino, yeah, you can use berries. I would highly recommend against it, but you can do it. All right, but yeah, make sure that when you're going out, you either have a really good crossbow, I mean really good crossbow, or you have a really good long neck and uh, some trank darts. But if you have the best of both worlds, you'll have a really long, a really good long neck, plus you'll also have shocking tranquilizer darts. And that's probably what I'm going to be using today, just for the sake of knocking this sucker out as quick as possible, because they do damage pens while you're knocking them out. So... Yeah, <laughs> um, that is if the pen is made out of anything other than metal. Because these guys, they'll break stone, baby. That's right. That's right, Freddy. You and your little orifices. Yeah, you'll break stone. All right, so hey, now again, this is the third time I said without further ado, we're going to go out and see if we can find one of these things. Let's do that. See you guys in a minute. All right, so I didn't have to go far. There's one just sitting down right down here. And yeah, these guys right here, they kind of spawn just about all over the place. Um, the only place where they're kind of a little bit... Uh, um, rare is in like the redwoods, the swamps, maybe in the snow biomes, but any place that it's green, expect to see these guys. Alright, so now one of the best ways to get these guys is just go down and just, you know, kind of get up in his grill and he'll follow you. I mean, super quick. Oh, I've got... I've got an overraptor in there. So that happened. Alright, hey, um, overraptor, you're about to get dead. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, man. Alright, and they'll go right in there. Sweet. All right. Suck it, Overraptor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. While you're dying, Mr. Overraptor, for the cause, we'll do this. And that was the leftover Overraptor from the, uh, from the Overraptor basics. All right. Suck it, Mr. Dill. Oh, another one? You guys are just coming out of the woodwork, man. Come on. I'm trying to make a video here. All right. Cool. All right, so now that we've got that guy, all right, so now he's in there, and thankfully he's not aggroed onto the pen, because if he's aggroed onto the pen, he's gonna damage it. Now, the amount, now when I say that they'll damage it, they will damage it, but the amount of damage they do to the pen, it, it's, it's not serious, it's not severe. Um, what level is this guy, anyway? You're level 90, male, you look good, man. I mean, when you look good, you feel good, right? Yeah, all right, so otherwise, let's just shoot you in the face, all right? So now I'm using shocking train charge just to try to knock this guy out as quick as possible. See, the amount of damage they're doing. Yes, they do damage it, um, but when it comes down to stone, um, it's just their bite attack that damages it, and it doesn't do that much damage. I mean, um, the stone uh, um, window walls, they have 10,000 health, and they're only doing one point to it. So, yeah. If you leave them in there long enough, yeah, they will be able to um, waste it, but it's not going to be that. Hello! Oh. Is he out? <laughs> You're out! <laughs> Suck it, dude! Alright, yeah, shocking trait charts. That's where it's at, alright? Yeah! Alright, so yeah. Um, Now that this guy's knocked out, we have to kind of move quick, alright? So we're gonna have to move up in here because their torpor, it starts going down really fast. Can I see your stat? Come on, give me, give me. Yeah, see, their torpor um, goes down pretty dang fast. All right, can I access you? There we go. I'm accessing you. All right, do you see me accessing you? Yeah, no, because you're knocked out. Suck it, dude. All right, so um, let's uh, um, throw some uh, Megalosaurus kibble on there. And then, um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to pay attention to this guy's torpor because his torpor goes down a lot faster than his food does. And it only takes... Probably about 10, 15 minutes before um, a max level one goes all the way down to zero torpor. So yeah, you need to be way up on these guys. You need to, once again, get up in your Therizinosaurus's grill, even if it's knocked out, and pay very close attention to his torpor. 
yeah, you kind of have to. Why are we talking so much about grills on uh, Therizinos? Maybe they... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because they gather stuff. And all the stuff you gather, you can throw on a grill, even if it's wood and thatch and berries. No, that, that doesn't work. Maybe it's because their weird beak looks like a grill. <laughs> I don't know, but hey, yeah, um, so I'm gonna get this guy, uh, tamed up, I'm gonna pay very close attention to his torpor, I'm gonna throw a bunch of, uh, narcotics on him, and then I will see you guys in a bit, because this is gonna take a while, even with kibble, even with kibble, this is gonna take a bit, it's gonna take a good minute for this guy, um, but yeah, his torpor's going down, I'm definitely gonna be throwing some narcotics on him, and I'm, for the most part, I'm gonna wait until his torpor gets down to probably about probably about 1k and then I'm gonna pump him full of probably about 130 narcotics 132 actually right there I'm gonna throw 132 narcotics on him and then it'll give him a ton of torpor and then by the time he's um raised all the way up and then lowered back down he should hopefully be tamed by then I'm hoping all right so hey anyway I will see you guys in a bit and yeah super dodo keep an eye out there all right thanks dude all right see you guys in a minute all right, so this guy's eating a few kibble. Now I'm just going to take and I'm going to dump uh, just a ton of narcotics on him. Uh, he's a little under halfway tamed, but I don't want to have to worry about his uh, torpor. Now that I've just put 132 on him, I can get about and I can actually go about my business for a little bit because it's going to take a long while for that 132 uh, narcotics to top itself off on him because his torpor is not going to be going down while it's going down. It's going to wait. It's going to pause his torpor. Uh, um, oh, uh... It's going to pause him from losing torpor while he's gaining torpor. So he's going to have to wear out the full effect of that 132 uh, narcotics all the way until he's done um, gaining torpor. And then he'll start losing it again. So now I've just bought myself quite a bit of free time. So now if I wanted to go out, I wanted to um, oh, uh, do a bunch more crap around the base. I wanted to do anything. Now would be the time to do it right after you give him the first dose of torpor and uh, first dose of narcotics. And that should be. Um, the only, uh, dose of narcotics that I have to give this guy with kibble. So, yeah. Alright, so, hey, I will bring you guys back as soon as, this, um, this guy gets up. And then, yeah, see you guys in a minute. Alright, Andy's up. Alright, so now, I mean, that was actually pretty easy. Once I got the Torpor, uh, um, engaged on him, every, everything just went super simple. I was just sitting here watching the show while I was waiting on the guy. And then, yeah, yay, alright, sweet. All right, so now um, that we've got him, now I'm probably just going to uh, get him out, but let's go make a saddle really quick and then come back down um, because the saddle is actually craftable at level 69, and it's really not that hard to craft. Um, the only thing is it takes some metal ingots, it takes some wood, it takes some uh, um, fiber, and it takes, um, takes some hide. It's really not that much of any, and but the only thing is you have to craft it in a smithy. That's really the only problem with it. Why are you over here? Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. All right. Let's see. All right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go craft in the smithy and then, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right. So yeah, it's just, um, 160 fiber, 285 hide, 55 metal ingots and 120 wood. All right. So there we go. All right. Uh, let's grab the sucker and then we'll head back down there, put the saddle on the guy and then we'll take him out and I'll show you kind of what all they can do because they can really do just about anything. Wait, I just put you away. Oh, I didn't have room in the... Ah. Alright, fine. Fine! Have room in there? Uh, I don't like putting kibble inside there. Kibble goes in this fridge! Um, let's see. Fine. I'll take out the quetzal eggs and I'll put you in there. Alright, and then the quetzal eggs can go over here. Alright. With the rex eggs. Alright, sweet! Alright, so let's, uh, grab Super Dodo, head back down there. And then also, there's a couple different tactics that a lot of people use for uh, um, gathering with these guys. Um, one of the ones, um, one of the biggest ones that I know of is uh, take out a, uh, oh, a Quetzal and an Argent in tow. And then on the back of the Quetzal, um, you put a, um, an Anki on the back of the Quetzal. And then you'll take, and then you'll grab the Therizinosaurus. And then you'll put... You'll carry the Therizinosaurus. And then uh, you go anywhere that you want to with the Argent in tow. And then you harvest basically everything until um, it everything's full. And then you throw everything on the back of the Argent because the Argent has uh, um, a ton of weight reduction. And then you throw a bunch of other stuff on the Quetzal. So where you've got plenty of extra stuff. So where you can... Uh, um, 
Oh, gather up just about everything that you want. The um, oh, the Therizinosaurus will gather up hide, chitin, um, oh, uh, keratin, wood, thatch, um, fiber, all that stuff. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a minute. And then also the uh, Anki will gather up all the metal and the obsidian and the crystal and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really really cool. All right, so where that with those two guys right there with the other flyers, you can go around anywhere and then get any kind of resources that you want. It's really cool. See, and the Quetzal can just pick these guys up, no problem. It's really cool. All right, so let's park uh, wide load down here. All right, come on, buddy. And I'm going to put your egg that you had on you just right back there. Also, you can have this Megalosaurus kibble, all right? Congratulations. Oh, you're eating it. Oh, dude, you ate my kibble. That's what I get for leaving you up there. All right, so let's grab this Therizinosaurus. And you'll notice that these guys right here, while they don't have stats that are comparable to a rex uh, they're just shy of it they're actually about the same stats as a uh as a spino or something about like that uh maybe a megalosaurus and which means that they're really really cool these guys are just one of the beefiest herbivores that you can get all right um but uh um you'll notice that when you click open the radial you'll see that they have a new tab unlike a lot of other um, dinos this is right here is view harvesting levels now, when you level them up, you will get one point to put into either delicate harvesting or power harvesting. And I'm going to discuss with you what the difference is between the two. Because power harvesting is harvesting up, um, oh, trees and uh, getting thatch and stuff like that. Delicate harvesting is, uh, um, oh, getting... Um, Oh, harvesting up fiber and then hide and then chitin from different things along with meat. So yeah, um, basically it's when you harvest something with your... With this attack right here, with just the right click attack, it, that's the power harvesting. And this is the one that... Uh, am I in game mode? Yes, I was. Alright, this is the one that, um, that smacks down trees. Okay? And you notice... It, yeah, it, it hits hard. They get a lot of wood from trees. I just encumbered myself from one single tree. Yeah, these guys are insane, the amount of damage they do. All right, but you notice if you walk up to it and you right-click, you do the delicate harvesting, you can't do a single thing to this tree. It's just going to be sitting there. You're just tickling the tree. Here, watch. Yeah, here, hold on. Just tickle the tree. There you go. Is that funny for you, Mr. Tree? Oh, yeah, just tickle the tree. <laughs> All right, enough fun with that. All right, all right. But what this delicate harvesting does? This delicate harvesting will actually take it over here, so where you can harvest up fiber from berry, from berry bushes. Yeah, look at all this fiber you get. It is insane just how fast these guys will get fiber. There is nothing on um, Ark that will get fiber faster than a Therizinosaurus just running through a bunch of bushes. Yeah, 15k right there. All right, so let's just throw that down on the ground now. All right, now let's talk about harvesting up creatures. Where's a creature I can gank? Ah, right, here we go. All right, let's gank this guy. Come here, dude. All right, so now that we've got this guy harvested, see, notice when we use the power attack, we get 72 raw meat. Now let's go uh, kill this guy. I can't... Oh, there you go. And now let me get out of here. Come on. Don't give me stuff, please. Oh, did I just harvest that guy? I didn't mean to harvest that guy. Did I harvest? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to harvest you. I was trying to... Oh, fine. All right. Let's go find a tr another trike so where we can compare with the other one. I see you, Mr. Trike. All right. So we've got to be careful. Just kind of baby him down. One. All right. So now that we use the tickle attack, we get so much less than we do on the power attack. All right, so yeah, uh, what I said earlier, reverse that. The power attack gets more for the, uh, um, oh, the meat. But uh, yeah, I believe it gets more for the hot, um, I think it's more chitin that it gets, yeah. All right, so, and also, every time you level these guys up, let's uh, take this and go, let's go melee damage just a little bit. I mean, a lot of times people level up weight just where they can gather with these guys. Other times they'll level up health and uh, melee damage. Me, um, for the most part, I just like melee damage and health. Yeah, um, because I use these guys for gathering, but I also use these guys for kind of self-defense. All right, so let's see. Um, now that we can pop off this guy, get down like this. Now, um, see that we leveled them up three times. We can actually pump in 
um, three more into this. And I'm just going to go into delicate harvesting because usually when I use these guys for harvesting, it's going to be for fiber because they're just the fastest ones to gather fiber. So now instead of just 100% fiber, um, the regular amount of fiber, we're going to get an additional 2.5%. Now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that much, but it really, really does add up. Now, also, there's another thing with uh, how fast these guys run. These guys um, run really fast, comparatively speaking. Um, if you pump up movement speed, you can get these guys going way wicked fast for long distances. Because notice, his stamina actually takes a long time to drain. Yeah, I mean, we've been running for quite a bit now. And then unlike a Rex, a Rex right now would already have to call it quits. They'd be like throwing in the towel, you know, sitting there breathing heavily, you know, their hand up against the wall going, oh, give me a minute, raising up their finger, hey, stop. And there is Xenosaurus, just keeps on going. Yeah, these guys are like the Energizer Bunny. It's really cool. So if you pumped up a little bit of stamina, get a max level one, pump up some stamina, um, pump up some uh, uh, movement speed, these guys can go just about anywhere. It, it's wicked cool. They can harvest up just about anything. And then when paired with a uh, Anki, they can gather anything. It's, it's really cool. It's really impressive. These guys can actually be used for boss fights. Yeah, it, it's they do that much damage. Now, you have to remember, though, when you're uh, using these guys for boss fights, the only way to quickly heal them is with either a Deodon or with Sweet Veggie Cakes. Both of them are slow. Yeah, Sweet Veggie Cakes will kind of be a little bit faster, but Sweet Veggie Cakes have a cooldown on them. Uh, you can only feed them so many um, Sweet Veggie Cakes, well, one every, what, 30 seconds? And uh, Deodon, it's still pretty dang slow. Yeah, it, it, it might seem like it's kind of fast. I mean, it is faster than normal, but it's still slow as snails. Yeah, um, so if I were you, I would recommend just gra craft up as many sweet veggie cakes as you can because that's actually the fastest way of healing them, it, even though it has the cooldown. But, um, or you could just get a whole bunch of them in an area when you're done with the boss fight, have the Deodon parked on the outside of uh, um, the obelisk, just ready to just come up there and then just do as much healing as you can to the entire group. That's pretty effective when you're healing up boss fight, um, guys. So yeah, anyway, I hope the video helped you out. I hope I covered everything. If I didn't cover everything, then hey, leave a comment down below. If I did cover everything and you liked the video, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate all of them. I like people joining in on the conversation. And hey, until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.